what is it now? Hank? What? Why are you sitting in front of that blank TV? Someone burnt down the TV channel. There's nothing on. Nothing on. Honestly, Hank, you're acting like an alcoholic. I told you all that TV would hurt you. Watching TV don't hurt me, Mom. But not watching TV hurts bad. If I find out who burnt down the TV station, I'll make him wish he was one of those damn Indians. Good. Fine. Hello, dear. How are you today? The nerve of some people burning down the TV station to detract from our bake sale. I doubt the perpetrator did it just to annoy the Harvest PTA. Coincidence? I don't think so. Just six months ago, the newspaper building went up in smoke. Obviously, there's a firebug on the loose. Either that or a communist. Steve, I'm so scared. Just ask Colonel Monroe at the missile base. He'll tell you. Now that the bake sale's over, I just don't know how I'll fill my time. Oh, I feel so... useless. Mom! Goodness. What's wrong with her? My goodness! God. Oh, it's not as bad as it looks. You just pop them back in. See? As good as new. That tarantula she ate must have had wasp eggs in it. Don't you think we should get her to a doctor? What for? She's got her mother. How silly I was, feeling useless just because there are no more cookies to bake. I can still rear my brood. This is a sign, Steve. I have a purpose again. <sighs> Glad to see you're feeling better. Mine, that fire still burns my britches. First the newspaper building, then DNA's diner, then W-H-A-R. I sense a pattern, and any pattern I can't make a dress out of is no darn good. I suppose you heard about DNA's diner burning down. Sheriff Duane thinks it was a grease fire. We took a black eye on the bake sale, but I'm sure the Harvest PTA annual blood drive will be more successful. Overall, we made about $200, hardly enough to bury a dead horse and definitely not enough to cover the annual blood drive. Annual blood drive, huh? If you knew how much blood we get, you'd be more impressed. Donations are mandatory, Steve. If you're still here come Sunday, you'll be expected to give. Until it hurts, I suppose. Until it hurts. Even Hank will have to donate. Of course, Lodge members are exempt. Remember that. Hey. Either way, no one's sticking me with a needle. We don't use needles. Hank, that kid over by the television? Your little brother is homesick from school today and I won't have you scaring him with this amnesia poop. Is he really sick? Look at the show he's watching. Wouldn't you say he's sick? I'd make him stop, but oh, I'm so busy baking cookies for the Harvest PTA charity bake sale. It's on Friday, you know. I hope you're still planning on going. I don't know. I, I need to think. Honestly, skipping out of a charity affair. What's gotten into you? I don't know, damn it. That's what I'm telling you. Don't you dare use that language around me. You're lucky your father didn't hear you. Or Stephanie, for that matter. How do you think she'd feel knowing her fiancé was a gutter mouth? Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Hey, Steve. Sorry, son. No time to talk. Neither rain nor sleet nor snow nor hell shall keep the mail from its appointed rounds. 
Hello there, young man. What's the good word? Someone burned W-H-A-R down last night. Really? I hadn't heard anything about it. And since I don't have a TV, I didn't notice it was off. Really? Next time you post, don't forget the zip code! I'm glad to see you. I feel so alone, cooped up in here. I saw the TV station go up from my window. It lighted up the whole town. It looked like hell. I wished it would consume the whole damn place. And me with it. Don't talk like that. I'm sorry. I just can't stand it anymore. I wish there was something I could do. There he is. Make love to me. Do it to me. Now. I've tried so hard to find an excuse to keep on fighting. But Karen and I can't go on alone any longer. This diner he left us was all we had. It was always a struggle to keep it running in such a small town. And now we've lost it. I know that I can't afford to support us now. There's only one way out. I'm sure you won't be able to understand the depth of despair that would enable a mother to put a rope around her baby's neck and push her into the air and jump after her. I wonder if I'll hear her neck snap if she kicks around and takes a long time to strangle I'll scream but I won't cut her down. I've got to be stronger than I ever was before. I hope she doesn't get it. God help us and forgive us, Edna Fitzpatrick. She hung herself at
As soon as she realized what had happened to her beloved establishment, a true entrepreneur and a credit to her nation, her suicide was an unforeseen byproduct, predictable by no one. She killed herself. She made her choice. If you were a catalyst, join the rest of the world. We all live off the deaths of others. Still, you sought to torture Diner, and torched it is. You have proven yourself a worthy candidate for initiation. of the harvest will soon begin. In the meantime, be patient. Protocols must be observed before initiation may commence. How I recognize the sign? You will know. When you receive the invitation, bring it here and your initiation shall begin. Hello, Steve. How's the husband-to-be? Other than having no memory, I guess I'm all right. All right? You should be ecstatic, considering what you're getting into, if you haven't gotten into it already. Speaking of which, I heard Stephanie was grounded. Her daddy's worried about getting his meat. Though if I were him, I'd be more concerned about Stephanie getting some meat. Uh, right. And you are? You always were a kidder, Steve. I'm Mr. Johnson, remember? Glad you stopped by. Just got finished waxing the tucker. I could use a little relaxation. But since Edna's not here, I might as well talk to you. Edna Fitzpatrick is one of the snootiest women in town. Bye now. Guess I can forget about the meat, huh? What do you mean? Your dad must have pulled some strings. Be sure and check Stephanie's pillow, you lucky bum. What the hell are you talking about? You'll see once the sheriff gets here. <sighs> Stephanie, Stephanie. Things will never be the same now. Guess I'll be watching TV nights. Okay, you can come in now, son. My God. Is that what I think it is? Yep, it's a spinal cord. Is it Stephanie? I can see a resemblance, but I can't be sure. More pie, Sheriff? Pie? Don't you realize what's happened? Oh, indeed I do. I, I can just hear the tongues wagging at the PTA. W was it suicide? Never heard of anyone pulling their own spinal cord out before. Off the record, I'd have to say no. No, all in all, I'd say this was death by natural causes. Natural causes? You can't live without a spinal cord, son. Nothing unnatural about that. Think I will have some more pie. Right away. 
I can't believe this. This is horrible. Believe me, you get to the point to where this is routine. Now the only clue we got is that card on our pillow. Take a look at it. This is practically a confession. Confession to what, son? Murder. Isn't that what you're here to investigate? Son, you don't investigate natural deaths. No point. Then I'll get to the bottom of this myself. Yeah. I'm sure you will. More pie, Sheriff? Don't mind if I do. What do you want? You know, with a slaughterhouse full of meat in town, what kind of nutcase would steal a barber's pole? Oh well, Pastorelli won't need it where he is. God rest his soul. Harvest will never be the same without DNA's diner. Or without DNA, for that matter. It's not often that I get visitors. Guess I can forget about the meat, huh? What do you mean? Your dad must have pulled some strings. Be sure and check Stephanie's pillow. What the? You. Well, that didn't work.
You received the invitation, but you have not brought it. I don't understand. The invitation was not the card, but the spinal cord. It must be presented to me ere I allow you to enter. The mysteries are only disclosed to members of the Order, not initiates. You were provided an invitation. Bring me the skull and spinal cord if you would pass to the world. What is this? You must now enter the lodge. Initiates find it a hostile place. Are you supposed to help me or get me killed? I'm starting you on the path of initiation to a very special, very exclusive brotherhood. I am merely the administrator of a test whether you view me as an enemy or a friend depends on how well you're prepared to pass. And this thing? You haven't said what it is. It is a special weapon. Using it will be... The... Whatever... Just tell... The... Oh, great. 